And we picked this project up from interior designers. We already were in the home doing some really crazy sculpting, fabricating ceilings, and they came to the end of the job and they want to do something with their dog room. And they've already seen what we could do. Ben Kramer and I work with Aztec Scenic Design. We were talking about particularly the carousel dog house. So I had a, a big part in designing it, um, but it was a big uh, collaborative thing too because like a lot of things changed along the way. The designers showed us this kind of real straightaway drawing of a carousel doghouse idea that they had drawn up and then I kind of elaborated on that and I added more uh, details and stuff to it. My name is Mark Leonard and I work for Aztec Scenic Design. Ben had basic sketches so we kind of had an idea, our end shape that we were going to go with. The builders built the doghouse. It didn't resemble a carousel at all. It didn't resemble what we had drawn or planned or anything. We decided that we were going to kind of take over the process. I lined it all out on the floor, you know, drew out all the curves I wanted and how I wanted to do it, and then they put it all together. So they had the framework, then they had concrete guys come in, put concrete on top of it. As it came along, it just kept building layer by layer lined out a bunch of panels. Um, I knew they were bendable to the shape I wanted. I kind of bent them into shape to get my main shapes and then just traced all the designs onto the foam and then carved that out. Basically started filling it in part by part out of foam and then I just went through each one, took this shape, added clay to it, started tweaking it, added little bones or you know a little tongue, little face, little fangs. Just making it fun and, you know, as intricate as money would let me go. I am Timothy Dameron. I am a lead artist. One of the coolest things that um, was fabricated was the crown at the top. I took roofing tin uh, and a table saw, <laughs> started cutting slits into it, you know. I, I had an idea of where I wanted to go and just took that metal and bent it into the shape of a king's crown and leafed it and added gems to it. This is insane. He individually laid one of those things at a time. Then that one twisted all of that metal. Can you believe that? That's a lot of intense work right there. I thought it was really cool how we used yoga mats to make the actual tent. The foam mats, laid them on. This is for the canopy part, and then we just layered all the frizzles and dazzles and all that stuff on top of that. And then, uh, the final step, of course, painting and the aging of it. And that was a combination of three or four of us just jumping in there and painting it up. I, I painted uh, on, on all the little side panels um, different scenes from uh, Winter Park. We researched all kinds of different carousels that had, you know, oh, you know, you had some that had Paris, you had some that would have carnival theme. You know, we bounced around the ideas of what would be good, and then finally the, the client came in, she's like, oh, I want all these local Winter Park themes in the doggy bed instead of like something random from like New York City or whatever. Cause, you know, if you look at any normal carousel, there's always like a theme to the murals as well, which the murals kind of set the pace for things too. They all had their own certain thing. One just had like a, a gator at night, and then it kind of blended into the uh, boat tours canals, where there's a scene with the boat and the overhanging bridge, and then in the lake at Rollins with Rollins College in the back and the steeple, the little crane flying on the river there in the water that was really fun and then um, the backyard of their house yeah from so if you were like looking at the back of the house from Rollins College um, it shows just like the whole spread with their little torches with the fish things on them and St. Margaret Mary's Catholic Church was one because um, the homeowner had uh, gone there since she was a kid there was Azalea Park was another one of the scenes that was probably the most fun for me because I was able to just, to be able to paint them really small. Like that was, was fun. So. In Winter Park here, they have a boat tour. It's a historical boat tour they do in front of Rollins College. And uh, it was our idea to put the boat tour in there, but on the boat, 
every passenger on the boat tour is one of us, one of the people that worked on the dog bed. Wait, no, it's just, you couldn't even tell who they were. They were like this big. <laughs> I forgot we did that, yeah. <laughs> it's like something was Tim's idea. Uh, ben, ben did all that, but it was my idea. Hey, what's that? That should be us in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Oh my god. You got that, Mark? Yes, sir. We're going on the boat ride. Really? All of us going to be on the boat. Let's do it. Let's do it. Put us on, on the boat. Ride. We're going to go on a boat ride. <laughs> And yeah, it was funny, he thought it was awesome, so uh, we did it, and Ben was like, hell yeah, so <laughs> it was cool. Pretty vague, but it's obvious who's who. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> Having a project like this, it's fun, and it gets you creative, and it gets you like, you know, wanting to go just out there and like oh we could come up with this and everybody is on a, on this team is so creative it was amazing to uh you know be there for them you know everyone needs a, a friend you know, dogs man's best friend <laughs> it was a blast i mean it was so fun you know because we were referencing like these really cool things like uh, these old dust bowl carousel circus tents and stuff like that you know um, from all over the world it was pretty fun. I had a good time doing it. Pretty unique. It's not every day you get to build a carousel for dogs. Hey, if you want to build a dog house like this, I, I'm all for it and I'm gung-ho, so um, let's just build one.